Mr. Musk. How are you? Congratulations on the promotion. Thank you very much. You're thank right. you. Those Merlin engines are fantastic. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea for an electric jet. You do? Yeah. Then we'll make it work. <laughs> like the, I think the optimal sort of air transport solution is a VTOL uh, electric supersonic plane. I'm Ms. Beck. What up, HyperChange? Today we're talking about our craziest moonshot yet. I feel like that'll get people amped. Electric cars are a big piece transitioning the world to sustainable transport, but they are just that, only a piece of the final puzzle. So today, we want to focus on another sector that is going to inevitably have to go sustainable, planes. Today's commercial planes from Boeing and Airbus are massive polluters. In developed countries like the UK, they represent 6% of all greenhouse gas emissions, and that number is projected to rise to 25% by 2050, even if they comply with the Committee for Climate Change's plan of action. Interestingly enough, the challenge of reducing emissions from aircrafts is starting to receive a lot of attention. Just a couple weeks ago, it was announced that Boeing and JetBlue were leading an investment round in a hybrid electric airplane startup called Zunum. Zunum's goal is to do small regional flights and they project to have a plane in the air by 2020 that will have a range of about 700 miles and be able to seat between 10 and 50 people. Additionally, just over a year ago, a company cleverly named Wright Electric came out of Y Combinator's famous startup incubator with the goal of doing regional flights that are completely electric and their plane is projected to compete with the Boeing 737, have about 300 miles of range, and be able to hold 150 passengers. So after reading all this news, my first thought is, where is Tesla in all of this? After all, it seems like Tesla's impending electric revolution of the auto industry is something that the aviation industry will inevitably need as well. After a lot of Googling, checking out Reddit threads, to see if Tesla had actually mentioned ambitions about electric plane, I found something very perplexing. Tesla has not mentioned any ambitions about an electric plane, but Elon has, and not just once, but several times. Vertical takeoff and landing is VTOL. Like, vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. Did you try to create an aircraft that is a supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric jet? It would be supersonic vertical takeoff and landing pure electric Designed for an electric supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric aircraft for a while. I have a design in mind for an electric supersonic vertical takeoff and landing plane. According to Elon, this idea makes sense on a couple levels. The first is sustainability. Obviously, instead of filling up the plane with gasoline fuel that it has to burn along the trip, the batteries of the electric plane could be recharged with renewable energy sources, making it a lot more sustainable per trip. Second of all, that's not just about sustainability, it's about economics as well. Recharging a battery is going to be significantly cheaper than refilling up a plane. This means that if Tesla can produce an electric plane that is comparable in price to something that uses an internal combustion engine, it'll actually make a lot more sense for an airline to purchase Tesla's version because it's so much cheaper to operate on a per-flight basis. In fact, Wright Electric has gone as far to estimate that their electric planes would only cost half as much to operate per flight as a Boeing 737. And this is assuming a battery cost of $200 per kilowatt. Elon has explained that they, with the Gigafactory, are planning to bring down the cost to $100 per kilowatt for Tesla. So factoring that into account, this would make electric planes even more compelling for flight than the internal combustion engine counterpart. Additionally, the vertical takeoff and landing capabilities means no longer need massive runways and need to have airports situated 30 minutes outside of a city. They would require a lot less space to land and take off, and this means you could almost land your electric plane anyway. The electronic jet idea is so much quieter because it doesn't have this massive engine that it's even more better suited to land and take off in dense urban areas. Now, although Elon doesn't quite think his electric supersonic jet could go all around the world, he does think it could go transcontinental. We're talking about New York to San Francisco. Flights under 300 miles actually make up about 30% of all commercial flights and account for a market size of $26 billion. That alone is a market opportunity exciting enough for Tesla to go after, in my opinion. But before we get too hyped about this idea, I was totally taken aback when after Elon pitched it, he said that he would be launching his electric supersonic jet idea not as a part of Tesla, but as its own new startup. What? Are you serious? Now I'm beefing. If, if I were to have another company in the future, which I would not be anytime soon, um, the, uh, 
I think that would be the thing to do, is to do, do an electric aircraft. First of all, that was bull because he launched Neuralink this year already. So his next startup is not this electric plane company, it's the cyborg company that's gonna let us upload our memories to the cloud. So call him BS on that. Second, now I'm totally confused. If Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable transport, then aren't electric planes right up their alley? And let's face it, Elon has even said in videos that this electronic supersonic jet idea is based on a lot of the battery and electric drivetrain technology that was developed at Tesla. Uh, I have a design in mind for a a vertical takeoff and landing supersonic uh, electric jet um, that kind of combines um, what I've learned at SpaceX and Tesla because sort of SpaceX has got the aerospace side of things and Tesla's got the electric powertrain side um, and I think that would be a really cool um, vehicle. Honestly as a Tesla shareholder this rubs me the wrong way. He's already got SpaceX, he's already got OpenAI, he's already got Tesla, they just bought SolarCity, now he's working on Neuralink, then we would throw another startup into the mix. Isn't it Elon Musk's fiduciary duty as the CEO of Tesla to maximize the value of their technology? And if it would be the key to unlocking this electronic supersonic jet, not give it away? So in that case, his electronic jet company would probably be buying batteries from Tesla or at least licensing their technology. So then it makes it even more confusing of why you would start it as a different company. That is why, for this week's Moonshot Monday, we are pitching that Elon Musk launches and starts working on his electric supersonic jet idea, trying to make it a reality as a part of Tesla, creating a new division called Tesla Aviation, which goal will be to spur the transition to electric planes. Though it's unlikely that this supersonic jet hits the market anytime before 2025, for Buffett-esque long-term investors who are looking through the lens of decades, not quarters, this could be a big piece of the futuristic bull thesis of Tesla. No secret that Tesla is wildly unprofitable at the moment as it builds out the infrastructure to be one of the world's leading auto companies. But if we're right, and in a couple years, the Model 3 is the iPhone of cars and they have successfully launched the robotic fleet of taxis, then Tesla will be pumping out billions of excess cash flow and they'll have the money to invest in moonshots, not dissimilar to what we've seen Amazon and Google do as they became more mature and had cash to invest. Yeah, like, they have more come with Apple. Exactly, than, you know, right, like, exactly. Their product just happens to be cars, right? 20 years, they will. there's gonna be demand for 33,000 planes with them. You wanna know why we're hyped about planes? The market for sub 300 mile regional flights that's worth 26 billion is great, but that's just a drop in the bucket of what the future of the aviation industry is going to look like. Airbus put out a report that says over the next 20 years, 33,000 new planes need to happen. 12,000 of these are replacing old planes, 20,000 are new planes in the skies due to simply growth in demand for air travel. This is a $5.4 trillion opportunity. This just shows that airplanes are as big of an opportunity as cars. They're a critical piece of the transport infrastructure that is just getting more and more relevant by the day as the economy becomes more globalized, the global middle class emerges, and people wanna travel around the world. Like, this is not going away. We think this totally makes sense and it's worthwhile for Tesla to start getting into it. So this is what planes do today. Really long takeoff. Get a little bit faster. Get a little bit faster. Tilt up. Remember they're polluting the whole time they're doing this. Spewing out fumes in the atmosphere. Massive runway needed that we had to build and cut down millions of trees to set up. Finally get there. Need to slow down. Come in. You're super loud so you gotta send real slow. Peon. Elon's supersonic jet right next to your mansion. Turbo turbo boosters engage, lock downward. Engaging liftoff. Soaring altitude, minimal air resistance at these levels. Combustion locks. Bingo! Supersonic jet, we're there in half the time. New York SF only takes an hour. You're not gonna be able to watch the full Jason Bourne movie, but it's all good. You can catch the second half on the way back.